Hello students, today we will be studying physics. Chapters 8 to 12 in your NCRT book are of physics. So now let us start with our first lesson, chapter number 8, motion. First of all, the question arises, what is meant by the word motion? So anything which is moving will be called in motion, whereas if it is not moving, we call it as a rest. For example, we take a car. Now you can see the car is at rest. When an external force is applied to the car, it starts moving in a straight line. This is called as a straight line motion. And if it is moving in an orbit, you call it as the circular motion. Number one, the motion in a straight line. Motion in a straight line. So, I start with a very simple diagram. You can say, I mark this over here. Say this is 0, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70. Now, this point 0, I mark with O. This point B, I mark here with A. And this point at 70, I mark this with the alphabet B. Let us say an object starts moving and reach at point A, which is 30 kilometers. Then again it starts from point A and reaches point B, which is 70 kilometers. And then we can say the total up till here, the distance traveled. You can say that is equal to OA plus AB. This is equal to altogether 70 kilometers. After this, let us say the object from point B travels a distance of 20 kilometers more. 20 kilometers more in the backward direction and let us say it reaches point C which is say 70 to 60, 10 kilometers and from 60 to 50, another 10 kilometers that is this much, a, this much length is 20 kilometers. Now, if we are calculating the total distance traveled, so that will be equal to the total length of length covered, that is OA plus AB plus BC. So that comes out to be equal to up till the O to B it was 70 and then another 20. So it comes out to be equal to 90 kilometers. Now I give you another concept of let us say that is called as displacement. So when we talk about displacement, it now displacement can be defined as the shortest distance from the original point up to the final position. So here it's the object started from point O and it ended its journey at point C. So if you count 0 to 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So let us say the displacement here will be equal to only 50 kilometers whereas the distance traveled is your 90 kilometers. Now we come to the next topic that is your, let me just rub it. Yeah, now we come to the next topic that is uniform motion and non-uniform motion. See students, you people have already learned this in your lower classes. So let me just revise. See, in your uniform motion, we say whenever an object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time. We call it as uniform motion. 
that is let us say here 1 hour, another 1 hour, another 1 hour and so on. Every time we are checking the distance covered in 1 hour and what we find is in every 1 hour the distance covered is 1 kilometer. So you can say this is your uniform motion. Now we come to the other side that is your non-uniform motion. So in this it might be possible that time taken is every time 1 hour we are after every interval of 1 hour we are checking how much distance has been traveled. So we can say that might be for the first hour the distance traveled is only 5 kilometers. In the second hour distance traveled may be 7 kilometers and in the third hour it may can reduce it only to 22 kilometers. Now so we can say uniform motion is when an object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time and non-uniform motion is when an object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time or vice versa. So for that we say it might be possible that after traveling one kilometer every time we are checking the time. So might be possible first one kilometer is covered in five minutes. Second one kilometer is covered in seven minutes and the third one kilometer is covered in two minutes. So this so this is all for today. To sum up we can say today we have studied about the motion. We even studied the concept of the distance and the displacement and thirdly we revised what is meant by the uniform and the non-uniform motion. Children, you can download all NCRT books from the website www.ncert.online. Now, before I end, now you can uh, take your home assignment. You have to write the differences, number one, between distance and displacement. Number two, you have to write the difference between the uniform and the non-uniform motion. Okay, thank you. Stay in, stay safe.